So what's the deal with this weird pyramid eye thing? Well, think about a regular pyramid. It represents society, right? With the bottom being the poor, the middle being the middle class, and the top being the royals. In our case, the top block of the pyramid isn't there, and instead, it's replaced with this all-seeing eye. This is some cheeky little symbolism representing how we just have the illusion of democracy and are really secretly controlled by intelligence services. As in, no top block, just this weird spirit eye thing instead. The rays around it represent God's divine power. It's kind of like one of those halo things drawn around people's heads in old paintings, like if they're a saint or an angel or whatever. Intelligence services like to use Satanism as somewhat of a ideological operating system. The reason behind that, originally back in the day, was to force spies who were going to participate in covert operations to do horrible things that would irreparably stigmatize and isolate them from their communities if they ever uttered a peep to anyone. It would also help the intelligence services justify the oftentimes heinous acts they would require their underlings and covert operatives to perform. The idea that God allows Satan to run wild because ultimately, he uses the evil that Satan perpetuates to accomplish his big picture plan. That's why spooks and robber barons love using hooky spooky satanic symbology, especially British and American spooks and robber barons. They are the hookiest spookies out there. They like to dress up in druid costumes and hold ceremonies in the woods and stuff. Just ask Anderson Cooper. When he was little, it was like Halloween every day at his house. But I digress. Back to the eye. This eye represents how intelligence services like the CIA secretly control all of us, even in quote unquote democracies. Now, it's pretty weird because you'd think the people in our government would not be down for tyranny, but they aren't very smart. And many of them naively think that they are the ones in control of said tyranny. They think that all their pretentious little clubs like CFR, Trilateral Commission, and Bilderberg are who runs the world. But in reality, they're just useful idiots. And the same people who have always run the world still do. Monarchs, they never stopped. The main monarchs that currently run the world are a medieval royal bloodline called House Vettin. House Vettin's descendants currently control the thrones of many European nations to this very day including, but not limited to, the UK, Belgium, and the Netherlands. The patriarch, or original gangster of House Wetten, was a hardcore little German tribal leader named Theodoric, who was born in approximately 920 AD. Theodoric's descendants have secretly controlled Europe and most of the world ever since. Crazy that they've been able to hang on to power for this long, right? But they didn't do it alone. House Vettin put themselves on the map way back in the day by hijacking the vast networks of spies and assassins installed all around the world by the Byzantine and the Roman empires. Networks they built up over the course of a thousand years. Since then, they have waged a top secret quest for world domination with a wartime sense of urgency killing anyone and destroying anything that gets in the way of their absolute power. These days, that ancient clandestine network of spies and assassins is called D6 or Delta 6, and it's used as the covert paramilitary wing of the CIA and MI6. It was established in its current form during World War II when British intelligence came over and created the precursor to the CIA called OSS. The term D6 often confuses people because it actually refers to two things, the human network of spies and assassins and the highest level of classification in the US military. The one reserved for information that would damage the all sacred relationships we have with our allies like the UK and Saudi Arabia. That classification is why the bureaucrats in Washington won't let us see the redacted parts of the JFK docs or the 9-11 papers. Because those documents would prove indisputably that our allies have been conspiring against us at the highest levels. And releasing them or making public how those royals have actually been treating us 
would cause so much public outrage that it would permanently destroy those relationships with our allies. It's that bad. So for the sake of clarity, I henceforth will refer to the clandestine human network of spies and assassins as the royal death racket, and I will refer to the classification level in the military as D6. So where does the three sides of the eye thing fit in? The three sides of the eye represent royal proxies, the people who actually carry out the criminal activity on the royal's behalf. Royals, like Queen Elizabeth II, don't do anything themselves. They are totally worthless human beings. So they outsource all their gangbang to their robber baron amigos, the Soroses, the Rothschilds, and the Saudis. Billionaires with virtually unlimited resources who operate in every country and who can move vast sums of money, drugs, arms, and sex slaves all across the world without being caught. Did you guys know that almost all the British and American COVID operations are actually directly funded by gangbanging? Meaning that whenever the US government, for example, wants to assassinate someone or arm terrorists, they don't just appropriate the funds because that would leave a paper trail. So they get the money from drug cartels and human traffickers. It's why our federal government allows vicious gangs to run wild in our streets and why our country is currently overrun with opioids. Ever thought about how weird it is that our government has satellites that can read the text on your phone from space, but they can't see some drug smugglers walking through the wide open desert? Or ever thought about how weird it is that the Crips and the Bloods can hold press conferences in LA? Now, I realize that's quite a claim, but I guarantee you that it's true. And I'll be unpacking that step by step over the next few months on this YouTube channel. So please share this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Buena noche y buena suerte, amigos.